Welcome to Performance Upgrades. I'm your host, Dave Moss. The show is brought to you by sportbikewrench.com. Performance parts and professional advice. Well, what we have here is a bike we rescued. It is a 2007 GSXR 750. And what we are gonna do is take this bike and make it into a track only motorcycle. The bike was clearly used for stunting. Um, it was up for sale for a long period of time. It has probably been down several times. Um, we ran it on the dyno. The power curve was awful. So we did some further investigation and found out that the engine had a blown head gasket, that the clutch perch was the wrong one and that that piece was dis disconnected. And that is a problem that causes some fault codes in the ECU. And so what we're going to do is transform this into a brand new bike. So from a budget standpoint, where are we at? When we took it to GP Frame and Wheel to have it measured, we're in $40 for the assessment and the measurement. With the engine being torn apart and fixed and a new head gasket, the valves redone, um, valve clearances checked and reset, we're in at 600 bucks. At this point, that is all that we have got into this bike other than the purchase price, which was very cheap at $2,000. So we're under $3,000 currently. We want to make this a purpose-built track only bike. So we're gonna see what it's gonna cost us in real terms to build this bike. And as we go through each piece, we'll tell you what that is. All right, now what we've gotta do is figure out what we are going to do with this motorcycle. What can we keep? What are we missing? What do we need? One, this is street bodywork. The windshield's been painted. This bodywork is of no use to us at all at the track. It's gone. We need track bodywork. Stock rear sets, we're gonna remove those and replace them with aftermarket rear sets. Our 60 tooth rear sprocket will absolutely not work at the track, so we're gonna re-gear it and put a different gearing combination and chain on. We're gonna remove the handlebars and go to aftermarket clip-ons. We're gonna use aftermarket grips and probably get some aftermarket levers as well. So we've got a lot to do in a short period of time. So let's get to it. Let's take a look at what's obviously missing. We're missing the tank shroud here that covers this piece. We're also missing the seat bolt here. So that's the first two items on the clipboard. So looking at the bike, our first section of subframe here, the black piece, is actually perfect. But our second piece up here, the silver steel piece or aluminum, is actually bent. So we need to replace this. And we'll give you a camera shot from the back and you can see it's pretty severely tilted. So next, next off, we've got to go ahead and remove the headlamp. We're going to keep the fairing stay. We don't want to get rid of that because obviously we're going to keep the gate, the instrument cluster. The wiring's all been butchered in the back and the front, so we're going to have to see once we get this out, will it disconnect from the main harness without too many problems? So we are out. This is a mess. So we will go ahead, disconnect the lower headlight. That's out the way. The turn signals have already been disconnected. We want to now go ahead and disconnect that because we don't need it. These are the side lights here which were probably turned into turn signals, would be my guess. We don't need the upper headlight. That will quite simply just pull off. We have one left. So yeah, they actually did turn these into turn signals in the front of the headlight. All our extraneous connections for headlights and indicator beams, etc., we can just go ahead and zip tie them to the main part of the harness here is because we have to keep this piece of the wiring that clips right back into the gauges. So at this point, this is as much as we want to take off the front of the bike here. And I know a popular question is how much are we saving weight wise? Maybe three, three to five pounds, maybe. I'm not a very good judge of weight, but um, it's certainly, in modern terms, very obviously these things are really light. It's all about in this in sport bike class of having the lightest bike out there. So, yeah, three to five pounds probably. Okay, now all our bodywork is off the bike. All of our bolts are in a Ziploc bag, which we will label as fairing or bodywork. 
because we could reuse these if we need to and that way we don't lose anything. Secondly, in looking at taking the bodywork off, the harness still has all the street connections that it should have for headlights, taillights, turn signals, everything. So I'm not going to go ahead and cut all that off and make it a custom race harness. At some point, we might want to turn this back into a street bike. And if we do, all the connections are there to allow us to do that. That's something you should consider if you are making a track day bike. Do you want that versatility to still be in the motorcycle? The other part now, we, what we've got to do is take a visual inspection of the entire motorcycle, starting from the front to the back, and see what we have, what we're missing, and what we might need. First order of business, front wheel. Three different things. One, is the wheel straight? Two, are the rotors straight sitting in there? And three, what lines do we have? Well. We basically have stock lines and we're going to go ahead and replace those with braided steel lines for the track because we need improved brake performance. So, there's maybe a very slight wobble in it, maybe, but that's not bad. Both rotors are dead straight, so there's no problems there at all in terms of if we get on the brakes, the brakes pulsing because the rotor is warped. Both of those are absolutely dead on, so that's great. The next thing we're looking at is our catch tank. We see here that it's covered in duct tape. It should have a proper rubber bung that covers this. We know that the engine had a blown head gasket, so it was boiling over. So rather than fix the problem, duct tape was shoved over the top of this to stop it leaking. We have fixed the engine, there is a new head gasket, everything's done, so all we need to do is go ahead, pull this duct tape off, put the proper cap on. Looking at the bike, we look down and the triple clamps, everything seems to line up okay, but our handlebars are in completely different positions. This bar comes back and is bent downwards, so we need to replace these clip-ons, otherwise we'll be riding around the track like this, and that will not work. So. Clip-ons have to go, and we'll make note of that. And because the clip-ons are going, we're gonna put new grips on as well. Other point, the brake lever has been hit a few times and actually hammered flat, so it has no curvature to it. So the brake lever itself is gonna to have to be replaced. 